While you're wondering if you could bring a laptop on your next flight, you might have missed 3D models of watching plants grow, controlling Mario Kart with an actual car, and this week's top stories. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we can't wait to start heckling bad movies with the new Mystery Science Theater 3000 team. Shalala. Bobby doesn't have a lot of friends. It's Robbie, not Bobby. Watching plants sprout is just slightly less exciting than watching paint dry. That's why a team of researchers from the Institute of Science and Technology in Austria have built a system that watches the grass grow so the rest of us don't have to. They've developed a 3D microscope that uses lasers and infrared light to track the growth and movement of root cells that can't be seen by the naked eye. The team created a special lighting system to keep the plants healthy and turned their microscope on its side so the plants could grow upright. The apparatus also includes a rotating plate to simulate the effects of weightlessness on the plants. The researchers hope to next use the microscope to observe the development of zebrafish. I thought I was gonna say zebra flesh. The greatest racing game ever can now be played from a car. A very patient father let his son and his friends use his Chevy Volt as a giant Mario Kart controller. The teens connected a Raspberry Pi to the vehicle's OBD port shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. No, not ODB, OBD port to map data from the car's controls for turning, jumping, and throwing objects forward. The high beams make the car jump, and the windshield wipers let you throw an object forward. The best part? According to the dad, they only brick the car twice. Sadly, all the car hacking in the world won't stop you from being knocked out of first place by the dreaded red shell. And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Researchers discover that Nest Home cameras are vulnerable to Bluetooth hacking. Google promised more timely updates for its Android phones in 2017. Twitter acts 376,000 extremist accounts in the second half of 2016. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies has begun construction on the first of its high-speed passenger pods. And Apple released a red case variant for its iPhone 7 and 7S this week. Thanks for watching from the Satellite of Love. Movie sign!